So we had the chance to go to Intel's keynote presentation today at Computex, and we even live streamed it for those of you who could join us when it was at like 2 a.m. in the middle of the morning in America. Anyways, besides that, we have a few new announcements regarding their CPUs that they are going to be launching very soon, and we want to share that with you all, plus a few other notes that actually happen to come up during the keynote. So we'll talk about that in a little bit more right after this word from our sponsors. Our Computex coverage is brought to you by Wootware, Pallet, and Fantex. Check them out at the links in the video description. Also, big thanks to MSI for sending us here to Computex 2018. We're excited to show off what their true gaming brand has to offer on display this year. Sorry about that awkward transition to the sponsor spot, but yes, anyways, let's get into talking about what Intel discussed today at their keynote. So they're celebrating their 50th year of being in business, and they're also celebrating the 40th year of their basically revolutionary 8086 processor. And with that, like the rumors that have been previously reported on, they are dropping the 8086K. So they officially announced this was this will go on sale June 8th, and it has a four gigahertz base clock and a five gigahertz boost clock now they didn't mention if that single core boost clock or multi-core boost clock it's probably not going to stay at five gigahertz for very long if you don't have good cooling they didn't discuss a whole lot surrounding this chip besides the fact that it's actually going to exist. My guess is that these are just binned 8700Ks that they're going to be providing uh, in a limited edition package that's going to be something that you can just say, hey, look, Ma, I got this 8086K. But also with that, they are going to be giving away 8086 of these processors in order to celebrate the anniversary and there is a website where you can go to enter and we're going to link that in the description down below if you're so interested to potentially win one of these hot new chips so with that we have one rumor confirmed but what about the other rumors such as uh coffee lake refresh what about an eight core coffee lake chip what about anything else well there wasn't that much precedent given to that during the keynote itself however there was one statement a passing comment just a single sentence that was made saying that that Whiskey Lake will actually be out this fall. So if we're trying to understand what is going to be the eight core CPU, I would I would suspect that Whiskey Lake is what they're going to be providing for, maybe even the Z390 chipset that is supposedly supposed to come out. That wasn't discussed at all at Computex uh, right now, but they did mention that this fall is when we could potentially see a little bit more of that. And besides just the consumer CPUs, Intel also had a discussion of battery life on their notebooks. They talked about AI, artificial intelligence with their new VPU processor. They they have partnered with Asus to actually produce a precog laptop. Is based Project Precog is what it's called. Basically minority report in, in human form. We're gonna get, start getting arrested for crimes we never committed. I want justice. And then the big announcement that Intel was saving that they really kind of served up as the special treat for the for the keynote was the fact that they have a forthcoming 28 core 56 thread CPU. Now some of you might be saying, why does that matter? They already have a Xeon that can do that. Why does that matter? There's already an Epic server that or a server CPU that already has 32 cores. This isn't exciting. Well, my friends, they actually had a benchmark, a live benchmark of this CPU, and it scored a whopping, a massive, a huge number of 7,300 points in Cinebench. And I know a lot of you might not think that Cinebench is the best representation of CPU horsepower, but they also had this 28 core coming in at five gigahertz of clock speed. Absolutely phenomenal speed. So it looks like this could potentially be an extreme series CPU the way that they kind of pitched it. Um, it didn't seem like this was gonna be Xeon. This seemed like it was gonna be something that the, the mega enthusiasts are definitely gonna be able to get. Now with the 18 core 7980XE costing $2,000, who knows how much this 28 core is gonna come in for. They didn't give any more information besides the fact that it should be available in Q4. Four, which is a little bit of time from now, but that could be right in time for the launch of Cascade Lake, which is supposed to be the replacement of uh, Skylake and KB Lake X. So the high-end desktop platform could be Cascade Lake coming in the Q4 of this year with this 28-core mega flagship beast that absolutely destroys 
a benchmark that a lot of people use. 7,300 freaking points in Cinebench. Absolutely insane. And then the last bit of not information. This is not anything actually official. This is just something of interest that we noted while we were at the keynote. So they were demonstrating uh, their 8086 processor. So they had that in a system and they were having some person play PUBG on stage with all of that. However, one of the things that Reese noticed, he was like, hey, hey Brett, look at that GPU. Doesn't that look a little funny? And indeed, it absolutely did because the GPU that they were using in this system for her to play PUBG on had a GPU shroud that said Intel on it. Now, we don't know if this is their Intel GPU, if this could be an NVIDIA GPU that they just put their custom shroud on it. It could be a whole host of a bunch of things, but with the rumors that there could be a gaming GPU coming out from Intel, this might have been the first demonstration of a prototype that they have. It could totally be that. It could also totally just be, you know, they painted Intel on an existing graphics card, which is obviously the more likely scenario due to Oxygen's Razor and a whole bunch of other factors. So we're not, we're not hyping this up more than uh, it should be, but it was an interesting point that we noticed during the keynote that I just wanted to share with you guys. But I wanna hear from you, are you disappointed that Intel didn't launch more than the 8086K and a brief mention of the 28 core CPU. Are you okay with that because you don't like the release schedules that they're on? You want to see them to develop their architecture a bit more before they stop dropping things in response to Ryzen? I want to hear what you're thinking about what Intel presented here at Computex down in the comments below or in the community discord. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and we want to give a big thanks again to our sponsors for sending us here to Computex. That's Wootware, Palette, Fantex, and MSI. They made this entire trip possible for the entire UFD tech team and they make it so that I can attend the conference and share everything with you guys. Anyways, please get subscribed if you want to stay up to date on all of our tech related content, including the rest of our Computex 2018 coverage. I am Brett with the UFD tech channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.